Hello, 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 and welcome back to Vault Hunters. We are here specifically for one thing. Uh, you can't see it because it's behind me, but I can, I can definitely do this quickly and do this. You can see we've got 15 unspent skill points and three unspent expertise points, which is very confusing. Now, that is because we have updated to the latest version of Vault Hunters, which I believe is nine point something, I don't know. But it has done, It's it's got some huge changes, and to summarize those changes today, we're actually gonna go through the quest book that everyone gets now to make Vault Hunters a little bit easier. So, I think that's what we're gonna do today purely, is even though we've, we've got a lot of infrastructure, um, we're still going to go through this because there's going to be some later game stuff that we've not done and some things like unlocking doors and stuff. So if we start jumping in, welcome to Vault Hunters 3rd Edition. Uh, so what does it want us to do initially? I see, okay. So uh, in addition to different difficulties, you can also set your game mode. Vault Hunters features three game modes, normal, casual, and hardcore. With normal being the default game mode, uh, your game mode can be set... Okay, so it's currently set to normal, which is this. Deaths after level 20 cause a spirit to spawn at your spawn point. Using a spirit extractor, you can buy back your lost items. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. Casual. Death after level 20 does not cause items uh, lost. You just take damage and durability instead. I think we'll, we'll keep normal. Um, perfect. So we can take this. And we've completed our first thing. Now we need to acquire, this could be difficult actually, because I don't know how much we have of this. Uh, 16 raw chromatic iron. So let's have a look over here in our box. Love it. So we can claim that one and we get ourselves some more chromatic iron. That this These are, the, these are literally just telling you um, how to... Um, hot stone. Right, that's what it wants. Mine 16 vault stone. Got it. Which actually is a good time to test whether this will drop vault rocks for us or not. Um, because I don't know, because we've silk touched it, whether it will drop vault rocks or not. We'll use our um, fortune pick still, just for the sake of it. Let's not put down loads of this. Uh, so let's get our fortune pick still. And let's mine this. Are we gonna get vault rocks out of this or not, is the question. We still do, okay, that's good then. So we actually, if we ever need vault rocks, we've got plenty of the vault stone to be able to mine. Because I wondered whether we were gonna have an issue with the fact that placing it causes it to not be considered like natural gen, for example. So that's good. So we can now come back into the book and we can say yes, we've done the vault stone. So now, this is like our first episode where we just mined the chromatic iron and the vault stone. Now it's gonna ask us to craft a vault rock. Now, will it just allow me to pick one up? Yes, it will, perfect. So that is fine. So we've now crafted a vault rock as well. Uh, chuck those in there. Uh, I think next it wants us to acquire a vault altar, which again we can do quite easily because we've done a lot of this already. Let's put our button back. And I think in fact it's quite funny, they give you a button as a reward. Um, which of course is nice because everyone uses a button to activate it. Um, so saves you making one more smooth stone I guess. So vault crystals. Okay, so complete a vault crystal. So now... It wants us to make one of these bad boys. So let's have a look. Uh, basalt, beetroot seeds, be beetroot seeds, sorry, chicken and copper. Basalt, beetroot seeds, chicken and copper. So chicken, uh, basalt, beetroot seeds. Wait, what happened to the basalt? Do we not put it on our inventory? Okay. Um, and Cooper. Oh, copper. I was being dumb. Oh, I've got to sneeze. <coughs> oh my god, sorry. 
That was very posh of me as well. Ooh, I've got to sneeze. Um, so we can now uh, chuck all of this stuff on. And that will complete us. Uh, like, 20th crystal or something. I've kind of stopped counting uh, where we're at with the, the vault, because I lost track and then couldn't really be asked to gain track again. This is very nice, though. So you actually, for completing this one, I don't know how I feel about it. On the one hand, I think it's it's great for progression. On the other hand, I do think it takes away a little bit of the the joy of running your first vault looking for shulker shells. But for completing that, you do get a shulker box, which is, it is nice. I will give them that. So now this is something that's changed. So, and I'll read this one a bit. Before you get into your first vault, we want to inform you about a few important parts of Vault Hunters. Vault Hunters has an in-depth ability and talent system and you will utilize, uh, that you will utilize to make your vault experience more enjoyable. Abilities typically focus on giving your, you powerful active skills that significantly change how you play the game, ranging from damaging abilities like Nova and Rampage, healing abilities like Heal and the tot and Totem, and survivability such as Dash and Ghostwalker. Talents provide the ability provide the player with the passive buffs. Ugh. Talents provide the player with passive buffs. There is a wide variety of talents to check out each built to level up specific aspects of your experience. Press H to access this, and for doing this quest, we're awarded one skill point. It's recommended to use heal to start with. So we'll tick that, and we'll complete that. And now we should have 16 skill points. So let's go in here for a second. I think the main thing that we want to take is, which is crazy, we paid three to get haste one, but now we don't pay that anymore. We pay one and one. Speed is now four though. So part of me thinks we may as well haste to and I mean strength is all the way down, but let's do that. So we've spent some of our skill points, right? Um, and let's have a look through at the rest of them because these were these were ones that we grinded for specifically previously. Um, so of course we know speed, that's fine. Stone skin, uh, your skin extra knockback resistance when above eighty percent health. Gain mana regeneration. Gain extra soul chance while killing mobs with full mana. Now that's not bad. Alchemist extends the duration of a vault potion's effect. Drinking a Vault Potion with at least one modifier. Prudent gives a chance of not consuming the Potion Charge when drinking. These refer to something that we will look at in a second. Um, but there's quite a few abilities here, quite a few very different abilities. Uh, increased damage on different mobs here. Um, we come here though, obviously, and I think we do want to initially take our dash again, because dash is just really good, um, and I think we will even take it to level 2 like we had previously. Uh, shoot some magic arrow that teleports you? No, I think we want the base dash, um, but there's other things to look at here. So we still have 10 points to spend, so let's have a quick skim. So Nova is a radius damage. Vein Miner, again, we will look at, but you'll notice there's no fortune anymore, which we'll talk about in a bit as well. Rampage gives you additional damage, which I think if we're taking strength, we're probably not using. Ghost Walk makes you invisible. Mega Jump was a previous one. Shell, while active, Shell will give you hardened skin, uh, giving you a chance to damage mobs. Rejuvenation Totem. Hatred Totem. There's these totems? Uh, creates a totem near you that heals all players in range. Oh, that's nice. Then you've got the normal heal. Empower. Javelin, which looks quite cool. Hunter, which we've seen before. Smite. While active, Smite will periodically strike mobs in range. Taunt. Stonefall. Mana Shield. Summon Eternal, which we don't need yet. Execute and Farmer. So 
We're not going to spend all of our points just yet. It is tempting, though, to just dump two more points into strength. We can always regret it if need be, but I think having increased strength and mining speed will be very good. And you'll see why I haven't necessarily gone through and just dumped all into healing in a second. But now that we've done this, oh, well, this is the best part of the update. Better enchanting will basically eliminate the need for these guys. So vault enchanters is what we want to make, basically. So if we come here and we look up vault enchanter, there we go. So this is what we need to make. So we need a normal enchanter, two emeralds, a book, and two chromatic iron blocks. So we'll keep our regular enchanter. Oh, well, there might not be a point, to be fair. We'll break that for now. And look at this, though. Haste 3, strength 4. We'll deal so much damage now. Um, so we want a book. We need emeralds. Oh, we've got some on us, of course. Uh, and then we'll need uh, chromatic iron blocks, two of them. So let's come over here and get 18. Lovely. And let's make this, which is going to change our lives so much in terms of enchanting now. So we, we'll, we'll still we'll put it with the enchanting setup still, because it was... It's nice over here, but now you come over to this and you put anything enchantable in and you just pay for it with levels. It's so worth it. So we've completed this now. We get some uh, experience, right? We come over here, we look, we go, okay. So this is gonna cost five emeralds and one experience. We apply it. It's now just got unbreaking three. It's that simple. And you can, you can always just chuck things in afterwards. Uh, we can now see, for example, like if we come here, we can always just be like, oh, we can get these ones. Okay, nothing on the pants, nothing here. But I'm sure on the boots, for example, yeah, like we can get feather falling, all sorts of things. So everything's now just based on a small amount of emeralds and not needing to worry as much when it comes to um, how to actually do it. So much better than, for example, villager cycling all of these guys, finding the right trade, building them up, and then spending probably 30 levels to make, like, one item half decent, which is great. So now this is the reason, better health potions, or why I haven't specced into heal yet. So, if we look, it's an item called a vial. Here it is. So, to craft it, well, let's look for a second. We want the, I think the pink variety is what we're after. So this heals you four hit points, so two hearts, every five minutes. It, re uh, well, it recharges every five minutes and it's got six charges. It's only useful in the vault, but you can make better ones. So this one will do 10 hit points, um, but it needs an echo pog, for example. These ones, instead of every five minutes like these ones are, the darker ones require mob kills to recharge. But I think, for example, we could make this one, but we need to initially make this one. So let's get glass bottle, poppy, and chromatic iron. So we'll grab a chromatic iron, and then let's see if we've got a glass bottle and a poppy. So poppy, we do have one, and then glass bottle. We have one as well. So we can now craft our lovely new healing potion. So this now, it doesn't work in the overworld. You can't do anything with it. But when you're in the vault, you will, you might be losing hearts. You can click this instead of heal. So it makes the heal skill less needed. Um, and that will give us uh, an ender pearl, which is cool. But I want to consider if we can make, what's that, eight pit points? Still needs a pog, 
but we probably could do that. But I want to see if we can make, where was it? This one here, golden apple. I think that's doable. Poisonous mushrooms too. Let's have a quick look. I'm pretty sure, yeah, so we've got three poisonous mushrooms, two of this. Let's maybe bookmark it so that we can have an easier time. This one, right? Six hit points, which is three hearts. So, uh, for that, oh, it doesn't, I see, okay. We need two golden apples. Uh, right, okay. See if we can do this. Uh, we need a diamond. One of these. Uh, we need another bottle. I wonder if we can bring multiple in then. That would be interesting to see. Because if you can bring multiple in, you can kind of do quite well with this, but it's just inventory space. Two golden apples. And was that it? Uh, where was it? This one, right? And a poppy. That's all we're missing. Uh, poppy, do that. And now we can actually make an upgraded version straight away because we are playing... Oh, requires potions research. Okay. I didn't see that. Okay, so let's... I see. Okay, so we're going to need to... I think that's going to be quite a key thing to research then. Um, but that's fine. So let's have a quick look at that in the research tab here. Okay. So it requires two research to get into. I see. Okay. So that is a little bit further off. We've still kept our initial researchers, so that's fine. So for now then, let's chuck these bits away. I thought we were being smart and we were getting ahead of the curve, but in fact, we were just doing the normal. So that's fine. Let's look at the next quest. So the next quest is Soul Shard. Oh, to make a Soul Shard pouch, which is something we never did. Um, uh, pouch. Yeah, see? So we need five purple wool, some string, gold nuggets, and an ender pearl. Okay, so I th uh, while we don't have purple wool, I know we've probably got wool. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, then we need some lapis. Uh, we're probably going to need more than one, so let's do that. And I think beetroots turn into red dye, because I'd rather not waste the poppies, right? Red dye, love it. That will make probably double the amount of purple we need, but that's fine. Now we just need string and... Uh, nuggets, two of these, and I think that will allow us to craft. Perfect. So now we've unlocked the soul shard bag, which we should have done a long time ago, to be fair. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, very expensive. Oh my god, the unknown items, huge in price. But I'm guessing that's because it's easier to get soul shards now. I think with this update, it's become a little bit more... Um, forgiving. But as you can see, I've just chucked all the soul shards away, but they actually just go straight into the pouch, and now we can see an easier number, and all we do is we take this into the vault with us, and it will just pick them up as we go, which is lovely. So we can collect that. So now it wants us to enter a vault. Okay, so we can do a vault this run. Let's have a look at our things. Ten vault plating will get us some, some good stuff, to be fair. Uh, 13 Leomar or 8 Wootenite. Let's do... Let's do 10 Volt Plating. I don't... I think getting at least some gear is probably quite nice. Um, let's make sure we're ready for this. So let's put some stuff away. Let's put the book here for now. Uh, let's put that away. Let's keep this on us. This on us. Uh, let's put this away, this away, this away, and this away. We probably don't need all four shulker box, all five shulker boxes, so we'll do that. Let's grab a little bit more food. So we're not going in with our normal skills. We've only got dash, um, but we do have haste three and strength 
four and our new really good pick. So let's do a vault and then see where we are at with our stuff. Okay, I wasn't necessarily thinking we were doing a vault today, but if that's what the quest wants, that's what the quest gets. Should we maybe have a look at taking one of these? to get more soul shards. Let's leave let's leave our six points for now, because we never know. We might want specific things later. Oh, look at that, the bar for the elixirs have got an update. That's cool. Okay, so it's a lucky vault, still with beginner's grace, obviously, because we are a beginner, a little bit of a, a newbie boy. Um, and let's move on. Oh, we didn't bring any blocks with us. God, we are a noob. Well, there's a way out in the first room. Okay, so let's... Uh, okay, so it's... Uh, we go north to come back. Okay, let's just try and make our way through this without changing rooms a huge amount. Oh, look at all these boys. Oh, that strength, though, is causing us to be able to just demolish stuff and the speed of our mining now or oh. one thing that oh my god one thing we probably will look at getting again is vein miner um because you can't go wrong with vein miner but we need to relook at the fortune trait now as well so keep keep in mind uh, and i'm more saying this for myself go north to leave um but we've already gained a fair bit of elixir what, what was that what the hell is going on? Why are they making sizzling noises? Okay, that was scary. In a in a kind of are they creeper zombies? Is that a thing? Oh my god, look at the speed that we break blocks. <laughs> that is nuts. Um let's take that for the sake of it. And let's put down one of these boys already and empty our stuff. Cool. Uh that is this part done. I think we got a lot of experience from mining coins in this vault. So let's keep an eye out for more coins. What are these? I don't really want a chance that they will detonate. So let's just kill things from afar and hope for... Oh my god, the green slime. Everything's got a graphical update. It looks so much better. That spawned some guys, no problem. Where are they? There they are. Yeah, I think taking the, the full spec into strength is nuts for us. Because the better we get swords, the just sheer more damage we will do. It's just simply going to be increased, increased, increased to the point of we don't have to even swing barely. So that's cool. We can even probably check. Yeah, look, our damage is 78, supposedly. That's nuts. We're just dropping fools left and right. Okay, so let's remember again, north is the way home. We can probably, do you know what we could probably do? It's not the best marker, but it is a marker. Why won't you, oh, go up, okay. Let's do that. Uh, and let's go down. I feel much safer, even though we don't have the ability to heal ourselves as easily. But we can drink this twice. And now we're we're healed up. It's still not too bad. As long as we can keep things a little bit at range, we could probably do with getting a bow to be able to do that easily. What's this? Ooh. Ooh. No. No. I think this is a dungeon, which normally is very difficult, but because our pick mines so fast, um, it's hard for them to actually cause us issue, which is great. So we get all of this just like free loot. Yeah, see, I liked the idea of having to come in here a couple runs and find, um, find Shulker shells. I think it was definitely annoying, and it was it was a little bit of a painful process. Oh shoot! Let's just 
stuck on one of those for a second. I do see maybe that heal is still useful because, of course, without the... If you take too much damage, obviously, um, you can't heal because we've only got one health potion. Oh my god, and all of these are trapped. My god, someone's at the door. I can't leave really for the door because this is a timed thing. So let's let someone else get that. Sure, someone will. Lovely. Look at that. We just completed a little dungeon. A little, like, mini mini area, which is cool. Um, so, we still need more. There's lots of money over here, actually. I don't know if you guys detonate or what your whole deal is, but you terrify me. Let's do this. That feels like a lot of... A lot of elixir, but I'm not sure. We need to mine and just hope for the best. If we can do like over halfway in this room, that would be quite nice. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm trying to be really careful not to just break blocks on the floor. Um, oh god, I didn't see the little sp spidray. So this is still just recharging. Okay, let's continue to let that recharge. And we need to just keep looting, but we are full. So let's chuck away what we can. I think we're gonna need a different shulker box. Oh, our bag. Um, let's chuck those on the floor. Uh, let's change out shulker boxes. And I think I do the at least the right thing. Color coding and just kind of trying to uh, keep yourself mildly organized is the better approach. Um, but I think if you really wanted to, you could just run this blind and just kind of chuck things down as and when you can. So we've done almost halfway in this, which is nice. As far as I'm aware, all of these will be fizzle up until a certain level, which is nice. Um, only in dungeons, they're not fizzle, like we just went into. That one, if we didn't have the speed at which we're able to break these would have just uh, continued to spawn like illagers and all sorts. So we did quite nice, 14 levels. We only have 10, not enough for you, unfortunately. And I gave them to you anyway, because I'm a bit of an idiot. Okie dokie. Well, we've got some more scaffolding, which is good marker blocks for us at least. So we came from this direction. So we're going this direction and we already know where our way out is. Oh, we didn't see this. They don't swim the greatest, as far as I remember, so... Sucks to be you guys, I guess. And we're getting some nice loot. Perfect. Uh, was this a thing? Did we miss this? No, no, that's not a thing. Cool. Okay, so let's keep going. I feel like I'm doing, ooh, doing a lot better damage-wise. I'd like to see how much damage we took at the end of this vault. Because uh, I'm trying to work out, obviously, whether I want to spend points on heal or not. Um, right. Let's have a quick look-see here, then. Let's go down, I guess. That looks like the main path in this room is to go down. So we'll pop on down here. What do you guys do? Do you actually detonate? You, you fizzle. Okay. Not sure what that meant. Was it a was it a clue? Tell me, wh what are we supposed to have seen there? Uh, vault plating. That's fine. That's what we're looking for anyway, as part of our quest. The spiders feel like the worst thing for us. I feel like we take far more damage from spiders than we are anything else right now. Uh, drink this again. I think we're running low on it, so it might be worth taking at least a point in heal. Um, this is a dig site, is it? Or just just one Wootenite here? Uh, let's put this down for a second. We've collected eight vault plating. I think we needed a little bit more than that, but this is a vault dig, right? No? Uh, no, okay. 
Let's just get out of here. Oh, okay. Let's build here instead. And let's place some of this junk in here. So we're not carrying around a huge amount of wasted space. So we've got 15 minutes left still. We're doing all right for time. Um, is there nothing else down here? Uh, okay, well, we'll go back up, I guess. Ooh. Oh, there's a... So when you hear an illager, that means there is a... One of those little dungeons nearby. See if we can find it, because they have got some good loot in them. It's in here, it looks to be. Here we go. Kill all of these boys. Make our way in. Oh god. This is bad. The slime threw some stuff at us. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Okay. If we can just quickly break this. Yeah, okay. And now these guys. Ooh. 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 We don't really have the health to be doing this. Okay, it's clear. Ooh, okay, yeah. So I think a couple points in heal. Can we even do it while in here? Yeah, we can. Couple points in heal wouldn't go amiss. And I think that's reasonable to at least put two points in because realistically, we've run out of the potion now and the potion takes five minutes to regain a charge. You get 25 minutes in a vault. So it's only gonna recharge a couple times, um, a couple times during a vault, which is not great, obviously, um, when you could be taking a fair bit of damage. I can hear people. I'm sure you can hear people as well. I'm very sorry. I, of course, live in a shared house. It's hard to avoid the background sounds of, of people roaming around. Uh, let's keep digging, though. We never used to dig that many coin piles. Um, I do think elixir vaults help force me to do that, which is quite nice. Perfect. Vault complete. Um, and I think for the fact that we're kind of doing a little bit of a tutorial here and showing people the new stuff, we will probably just bail at this point. Um, plus my sword's dying. <laughs> and I could do with having the ability to not lose it. Um, but that's fine. So we come back up and we came from that direction. We could finish this room if there's anything else in here. There is an upstairs. Let's have a little look at a cheeky little look at the upstairs, shall we? There we go. I don't know if these guys explode or something. Oh my god. Yeah, the heal is worth it. Oh, we also haven't completed our um, side objectives yet either. We need to find more vault plating. Right. Um, so that would be nice to do as well if we can. Not a spider. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought he was going to be the end of our run for some reason. Christ. That was close to dangerous. Okay. Emeralds are just the biggest thing to find now though as well. Because it is all your enchanting needs done with emeralds. So we do want to take as many of those as possible. Um, this doesn't lead us to the next spot, does it? Over there is where we wanted to go. Okay, well let's go back down and we'll scaffold around, I guess, or go up there, up there. That's where we're going. Let's see if we can... Oh. Ow. 
Ow. Let's build up here. Next time we'll bring our proper blocks with us and stuff, but for now, no harm. It's not caused us the biggest issue, and oh, spider, honestly. One, two. Okay, they're gone. Ooh, they're causing us too much trouble, honestly. I think I'm stressing too much about them as well. Uh, okay, that's not great, because we're filling this with trash, I think, but that's fine. Uh, is there another one? There is another one. Lovely. And then we want to go down and round here. To be fair, actually, we have almost um, finished the entire run anyway, because it's nine minutes we've done so far. Go up. Lovely, nice and orderly, please. No rushing. Uh, let's get our last shulker out that down all of this goes in and let's do our looting I think they've also increased the drops on knowledge and the various things you need to actually level up your brain power which is good because I think we were gonna start to hit a wall fairly quickly of we we can't progress much further right now because we don't have knowledge to be able to do that so that is quite nice, and I think we will leave now. Nothing left to do. We could go one more along. We've got eight minutes. Let's go one more along and see if we can find the extra vault plating that we're looking for. I think it's only a couple, so it shouldn't be the worst to find. And we know where a lodestone is, so I'm not super panicked. Okay, so I have a little gander around. Refills your mana, sure. Uh, let's go up to start with. Who is up here? Hello? Hello, can I, can I meet a friend? Da 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 da. Slime. Come on, Spidre. He poisoned his friend. We can't reach his friend though. There we go. Ooh, some armor. Lovely. I don't know what they've done with the drops for like armor and stuff, whether that's been lovely. There we go. That was what we were looking for, to be able to at least complete our bounty. Ooh, they've dropped to their death. That's good for us. Um, let's jump onto here. Oh my god, honestly, too much stuff. What? Who made those noises? I reckon we are going. Yeah, I, I don't like the noises being made. Oh my god, where? Is there anything cheeky up here? No. I think we go. I think I'm very happy we've completed our vault and we've also completed our bounty. So, without further ado, where did we come in? Over here, right? Lovely. Pop through here. Heal ourselves. I need to find out about those zombies. I don't understand why they're, one, different looking, two, why they fizzle at me. I'm worried they're going to explode, and that's what they're trying to do. Like a creeper. Like a creeper-zombie hybrid child. Righty ho though. I think this was actually quite a good vault. I think I've stayed very calm. We leveled up during it as well, to be fair. I think if we didn't have those extra points for healing, we probably would have had some uh, a worse time in here. But the fact that we were able to chuck a couple points into our health during the vault probably did us quite good. Oh. Lovely. 10,000 experience, we did quite good. I wanted to look at damage taken 34. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad though. Um, and we can come over here and let's put down our stuff. Let's actually look at this quickly. Yeah, I mean, I think the drops are hugely increased now because we 
gained 300 over a course of our entire playthrough so far, and just there we gained 200, which is a big difference. Um, let's get our book out to make sure that we're not skipping over things. So we can complete that. This wants us to complete a bounty, which we can claim reward. Wants us to do another vault and complete a bounty. That's a bit annoying. Well, we can still put these down and give me a second to empty everything and then we'll probably be right back and that might be where we call this episode actually because we've still got plenty of quests to do and I think if I look at probably where we're at we're probably around here maybe? Well, we've done elixir vaults, we've done god altars, we've done this level 20 changes, we're probably here so there's still a lot more of stuff for us to cover and make sure that we know what we're doing so for now I think let me actually call it here I'll put all of this away off camera let's do the let's do the rolling of some armor first if we can let's chuck away all of this just into here for now so I can have some space for goodies no real space is there <laughs> kind of a lot of uh, extra junk, but that's fine. Let's take this, let's pop this crate open, which will give us some jewels. Let's pop this crate open, which will give us some armor. We can put the jewels away for a second, let's have a look. Uh, that's not bad. It's a little big. Uh, and ugh. I think that's it though. We can now have a look at our armor that we've got. Ooh, we've got a lot to be fair and let's roll all of this quickly and have a little gander oh there's some new skins I can see them already this is fun okay normal stuff mostly normal okay oh our shield broke broke okay well we need a new shield anyway I don't think we've got anything that's that great though oh actually that one's not bad Yeah, we'll, we'll equip this shield for now. Um, but our shield actually broke, broke, that's crazy. Um, yeah, nothing's really going to beat what we're wearing, I don't think. Because we've got pretty good stuff. So we'll chuck all of that away, and we'll call it there. So this, was a, this isn't a main episode, really. This is very much just a little questing episode, so I don't think there'll be an uncut version. I think this will just be it. Uh, and we'll give it go. So I look forward to doing some more quests with you in the next episode, and I'll see you then. Oh wow, you've actually made it this far. Okay, um, three things. Um, don't forget to maybe watch another video. I don't know which side I'm on. These ones, this or this, there's a box with a video. Um, consider subscribing and maybe like the video. Leave a comment, I'll, I'll say hello. Anything, go, go wild. <laughs>